Hello, I'm Cem Tezcan. I'm a freelancer, multidisciplinary technical designer over 15 years. I am experienced on different fields like procedural PBR texture design, real-time animated material design for game engines, environment design, and industrial product design with CAD software. You can see some of my works on the screen, like a real-time rain material with multiple parameters for Unreal Engine. and also a CRT screen filter for Unreal Engine. Height map modeling technique with Substance Designer. Environment designs I do for both real-time engines and ray-traced render engines. And some of my industrial product designs I made with CAD modeling. I create my traditional 3D models with both polygon modeling and CAD modeling software. and create my textures with Substance 3D software like Substance Designer and Substance Painter. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to create a CAD model which will be an handheld console of 90s. So in this tutorial, we start by checking the already manufactured different style of handheld consoles through time and we will check the um, features of these devices and select some of these features to use on our own design. We start by creating the CAD model on SOLIDWORKS so in this process we will go on by checking the references each time and try to create a unique style of handheld console which will look like it is manufactured in 90s. The development of this handheld device will be an improvised process within SOLIDWORKS. We will go back and forth between the features. So in these features we will define different dimensions and different kind of modeling techniques. And after completing the design process we will adjust the material IDs within SOLIDWORKS and export the model into MODA. In MODA, we will unwrap the UVs of the 3D model. It will be converted into polygons, but you will see that many CAD models with complicated surfaces will end up with very complicated triangulated topology. But in this tutorial, I will show you a unique way and a very easy way to adjust the UVs of a CAD model and create PBR textures through these UVs. So, after UV unwrapping process is completed, we will move the model into Substance Painter and create the PBR texturing within the software. And then we will adjust all the material details within Substance Painter and we will add details to give this model a photorealistic look. After completing the texturing process, we will move the model into Marmoset Toolbag and in the software we will set the camera and lighting for the device. And of course we will assign the textures that we have created within Substance Painter into Marmoset Toolbag. And after setting all the camera and lighting, we will start rendering the 3D model we had. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you find some good tricks through the process.